Did Henry VIII enjoy eating a dish full of snow? Yeah, but not what you think. The first step in making this snow is to take the whites of two eggs and we're gonna whisk them up and make nice pillowy goodness with them. This does take a little speed and vigor, so in the meantime, let's talk about the man who enjoyed this dish, Henry VIII. In 1509, at the age of just 17, Henry VIII became the King of England and grew into the man we know today. Standing at six feet two inches tall, Henry in his day was a larger than life character. His boisterous, charismatic, and confident persona solidified his place in history. Well, that, and all the drama with his six wives and desperation for his son to inherit the throne. But it's the ending of his first marriage with Catherine of Aragon where we get to see just how desperate he was for his son and the lengths he'd go to get what he wanted. Catherine of Aragon was out, and Anne Boleyn was the new young fertile thing for Henry. But the Catholic Church and Pope Clement III did not approve. Henry had other words, where he broke from the Catholic Church and became the new head of the Church of England. As he was still married to Catherine, Henry and Anne entered a bigamous marriage on January 25th, 1533. Now back to this potential wedding day dish, I'm adding one pint of heavy whipping cream with one half cup of refined sugar and about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of rose water. <sighs> this was not the easiest thing, but uh, yeah, whip like you've never whipped before and it will start to fluff up. I'm trying a little beater method there. As I mixed in the beaten egg white into the whipped cream I had just made, I started thinking, one, how can I do this without making a mess? And two, what were the kitchens like during the Tudor times? Were they busy? Were they big? Well, it turns out, yeah. Hampton Court was just one of Henry VIII's beloved palaces, and it's been documented that under the reign of Elizabeth I, they had cooked 1,240 oxen, 8,200 sheep, 2,330 deer, 760 calves, 1,870 pigs, and 53 wild boar. Now Henry, he was a steak and potatoes man, not a lover of vegetables, but he did enjoy his sweets, which leads us to the dish full of snow we're making today. So now I'm adding rosemary to an apple and making a tree. This, uh, this goes along with how the Tudors enjoyed making dishes that masqueraded as something else. They like creating showpieces that they could talk about. And in this case, I'm making a, a tree that's covered in snow. Now I want to make sure that none of this apple is seen. That's just to be able to hold the rosemary up. And then I'm going to add some of this whipped cream onto the rosemary. Make it look like snowfall on the tree. And if you're enjoying this video, like and subscribe to see more. This came out looking really nice. I mean, it looks like a nice tree with snowfall on it. Dish full of snow. A dish that Henry VIII would have enjoyed. Probably enjoyed at his wedding with Anne Boleyn. Sugar would have been very valuable, so this would have been a very nice uh, specialty dish that they would have enjoyed. Try it now with this cracker. It's floral whipped cream. <laughs> it's a really extra fluffy, light whipped cream that has that little hint of rose water in it. It's good. I'd say eight and a half out of 10, being gracious. I like regular whipped cream a little bit better. And this, uh, this is pretty good though. Really light and fluffy. That egg white makes it really nice.